Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Pacetti. Today we're going to paint with tree parts. But before we can paint, we need to go find our tree parts. So let me get on my jacket and my mask so I'm ready. All right, I am ready. Let's do it. I'm outside of Marsh School and I'm not within six feet of anyone, so it is safe for me to take off my mask. Now, I would like to show you, I found, let me grab them, some pine cones. So I was thinking maybe I could paint with pine cones. All right, I'm gonna keep looking. I see a lot of needles that have fallen off of our conifer tree. I think these would be great to paint with. Underneath this tree, I see some sticks that have fallen off, so I think these will be great to paint with. Let me grab one, two, let me grab one more. Three sticks to paint with. I also think I'm gonna grab some leaves, see if we can do some painting with leaves. For this activity, you'll need the white page and the baggie with paint from in your weekly bag, as well as the tree parts you found outside. As we start, we need to decide how you want your paper to face. Do you want it wide or do you want your paper tall? I think I'm going to make my paper wide. Next, we're going to take out our paints. Now your paints might be a different color than mine, but they all have some glitter in it. I thought that would be fun for today. So everyone should have two paints and two cotton balls. Now let's uncap our paint. Oh, I can already see the sparkle in my red and the sparkle, the glitter in my blue. The blue looks like it needs to be uh, mixed a little bit more. Now, as we paint boys and girls, we can use the cotton balls to put the paint on our objects or we can dunk right in. For this activity, we can paint however we would like. We get to use our imagination. So. I think first I'm gonna start with my stick and I'm going to mix up my blue because it looks like my glitter is not all the way mixed in. All right, and I think I'm gonna try making some lines with my stick. There's one line. I'm gonna make a circle. I'm gonna make another line over here. All right, let me put some more over here. All right, now I think I'm going to use my needles with my red, see what happens here. Oh, I like it using the conifer needles. That looks cool. Now, for this next part, I'm gonna see if I can use my pine cone. I kinda wanna see if I can roll it. So I think I'm gonna use my cotton ball, put some paint on here and we'll see what happens. I'm not sure if it's gonna work out. All right, let me try to roll it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it did kind of work. That's cool. I wonder if I just dunk it right in. Let's see what happens now. Hmm, I think it worked better when I used the cotton ball. All right. I think I would like to try the same thing with my red. Let's see. Cool. 
Hmm, I was thinking maybe I could use my leaf as a stamp. I'm gonna try it. Try to put some paint right on my leaf, on the tip of it. And we'll see what happens. Put it right there. Oh, it worked! Cool, let me try stamping again. That's kind of cool. I think I'd like to try that again. All right, I'm going to keep adding to my artwork. You keep working on yours too. I think my tree part paint project is just about done and ready to dry. If yours is also ready to dry, Make sure you clean up all your supplies and wash your hands. I had so much fun painting with parts of a tree. I hope you had fun too. See you next time, boys and girls.